burning some old plywood right here. Get back. This is what it's all about. Just being on the road and family's inside right now. Randy's in there talking to Jed about how to get his test taken care of and little tricks and things to help him. And it's just, it's what it's all about. You know, just helping everybody out and just trying to get them to that next place. Trying to get them, you know, through the test and whatever else. But, oh, Cody must have gone to bed. He's supposed to come over. We're supposed to talk about the pancake hood because you guys is going to want one bad. We're going to do a whole review on that hood, but I mean, all I can say is you're going to want one. You're going to need to get a hold of Cody, Empire South, E-M-P-Y-R-E. -E. And uh, I mean, just incredible freaking hoods. Tell him Jake sent you. You guys tomorrow. Come sit down for a sec. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 TJ! TJ! Oh, my bad. Get out! Ace! <laughs> Way to go, Randy. Get! Well, <laughs> nice I try. I didn't do well there. <laughs> Good night, sis. You can sit for a sec? No, I'm gonna go. I got a bunch of folders I gotta put together. Okay. Oh, that's from your dog. No, that's what just came inside my house. Oh, look at Ace, covered in it. Yeah, <laughs> you're in trouble. Hey guys, hey, I'm with Cody Grant, Empire South, E-M-P-Y-R-E -E South. You guys gotta go check him out. He builds, and we're getting ready to do a whole review on this, a carbon fiber pancake that, I mean, literally blow your mind. This thing is, extremely lightweight, extremely heat resistant, and light. I mean, you, you basically wearing a baseball cap around all day. Pretty much. Yeah. But man, you guys gotta go check him out. Empire South, E-M-P-Y-R-E -E South on YouTube. And then he's got a website, www.empiresouth.com. Dot com, I got the dot com. You got the dot com. He's <laughs> legit, legit. But, I mean, you guys, uh, message him if you're if you're interested in hoods. I mean, you got all sorts of stuff on there. All sorts yeah. of goodies. Yeah. Well, I just, I finally got my hats up. Yeah. Oh, and the hat. <laughs> I mean, I got to wear a hat because I got kind of an ugly head, but, <laughs> I mean, this is my wife's hat. Sorry, man. But I, I'm getting me a pink one. They're on the order. But he's got the camo one, and I'm thinking probably camo. Genius of the carbon anything you can think of, <laughs> but Empire South E M P Y R E South, and you guys have gotta go check his channel out. I mean, weld boss, pipe welder, rig welder, on the road welder, everything you guys want to be, right here. <laughs> okay, he has designed a hood that bar none is probably the best hood I've ever welded in. This thing is like extremely heat resistant. It's light. It's got way less parts than the other hoods. Things flex instead of break. And I mean, things are riveted. They're not screwed. Things aren't gonna fall apart on them. It's what I love about them. I mean, I don't know how many times I've ran into something with this thing already and the the side shell flexes and so does this but it don't I mean if you run into something with a Sarge hood and nothing against Sarge or whatever else I mean right now you guys you can get on a list for these things but like the rest of us Cody works and he's on the road hauling around a carbon fiber table everywhere is just <laughs> not gonna happen it can't, it can't so but nothing against the Sarge hood I will tell you a story right now. I bought a brand new Sarge hood. I spent two hours, got that thing fitted perfect, walked into a tie-in, smoked a pipe, and smashed that thing into a million freaking pieces. I was pissed. <laughs> I've done it. Oh, it's the worst. Most of the time, I wrecked them. 
from like temper tantrums. Yeah. Like if I throw a fit, <laughs> the hood's done. Half a dozen hoods. That's why I built the new ones. <laughs> yeah. These can be thrown around a little. But uh, guys, I mean, let, I'm just going to tell you right now, the Sarge hood is probably the lightest hood you can buy in the pancake hoods compared to like a Wendy's, which is this white hood. The Wendy's is double the weight of the Sarge's, and the Sarge's is probably, I mean, we're talking this thing's like a third of the weight of this Sarge. So anybody that runs a Sarge, I mean, you, you buy a Sarge because it's light. Mm -hmm. they're, they're good hoods. There's nothing wrong with them. But these carbon hoods are a third of the weight. I don't know if you guys can tell, but right here, the balsa wood on them, this is double the amount of wood on this and still a third of the weight. But what it does is it puts the pressure all over in a bigger bigger area. So so what I did with that, my, my way of thinking was uh, just kind of like putting uh, the difference in putting bicycle tires and big mud tires. So what it does is, is it, it, it creates a, a, like an even pressure, you know what I mean? Uh, so the thinner the wood, the more the... Condensed to one area. Yeah, the surface area is less, so it digs into your face more. So I went with a heavier, uh, a half inch thick uh, boss of wood. That way it would kind of distribute the weight more, be more comfortable. Yeah, it, it's an incredible... That is probably one of my favorite parts about this hood. It's just when you wear it, Number one, it's light. You don't even know it's there. And number two, I mean, it's just, it's something you can wear all day. And it's not like, it doesn't just drive you nuts. I got a, I got a call from a buddy of mine today. And he, he told me, he goes, he goes, man, I got another 10,000 of them sold for you. I said, well, he said, but man, you'd be amazed at how, how much better his neck. You know, he, he that's what he told me. Because he's, I won't say how old he is, because he acts young but older older welder <laughs> and i've uh, been doing it a long time but he says he says man he says when i go home in the evenings my neck and everything feels so much better yeah so for any of you guys that don't know that are getting into this when you weld i mean when you mainline you're welding in position you're not just sitting there with your head on the ground you're up holding your head up and welding i tell you what when you got a hood that's heavy there ain't nothing that makes a longer oh, day yeah. it wears on you Oh, and it'll wear you out. And with this hood, I mean, guys, I paid full price for this hood. There's, I think everybody has. He wouldn't. He wouldn't let me. He wouldn't let me. I, tr I tried. No, uh, guys. My my thought on this is is I'm gonna pay the same amount you guys do. I'm gonna put it through what I do. I'm on I'm on a rollout wheel most of the day. That's what I do. The heat is right underneath me, coming up all day long. So. I wanted to see if this thing would warp out like the Sarge's do. And the Sarge will warp. Oh, I yeah. mean, you will banana this thing so fast. This thing hasn't moved, and I've welded in it for the last five months. Yeah, it's been a while. Five months, I think. And it's still straight as an arrow. Uh, I'm not sure. The carbon, I believe, is is just over a thousand. Now, like, there's there's more fabrics that are, that are more resistant to heat, but... But yeah, and then the rosins and all that are high heat. Yeah, the the resin. So that's why I chose epoxy resin because uh, because it's it's the the least flammable, and uh, so like uh, and so the uh, the epoxy is is more pliable, uh, and it sets up. Plus, it's it's clear whenever it yeah. dries. You know that that kind of adds to the aesthetic. Of oh it. man, let me show you. <laughs> I mean, you you guys can't get a cooler hood than, I mean, carbon fiber. And then it's got, I mean, everything's riveted on these hoods, too. I don't know if you can tell because i got a lot of sparks going on. There's a rivet that's like, I don't know why that one stays so clean, but it does. <laughs> he asked me the other day, he's like, did you have to re-rivet that? And I said, nope. <laughs> but, I mean, everything on this is riveted. Now, one of the things that I really like about this hood is when you look at this hood... Okay, this is my Wendy's, and the Sarge's have the same thing. Now, a Wendy's is built a little better than the Sarge's, but they're a lot heavier. You get this support piece, but then you got a chunk of wood that sits here. Guys, I, I don't know how many times I've hit something and busted that piece out of there, or it just starts cracking and falling apart. 
This has nothing in there. Let's see if I can get a good. It flexes with you. I mean it. It's gonna last so much longer than. I mean you gotta be so careful with these because there's so many pieces that can break on these things. That I mean you better carry two. And see the the thing the 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 deal with that is is uh what kind of separates me is I I buy I buy all my material in raw material. So the carbon fiber comes in rolls, the epoxy comes in tubs. You know, everything I buy just tubes. I actually vacuum infused the the uh, the material. So, like all everything that I've built is built. Like I built all my molds. I built all the the jigs from my from my router table and all that stuff. So by doing that, I can shape and form and mold and and create strength within the uh within the laminate instead of having to add a bunch of structure to the to the hood does that make sense yep yep so so, I so was the able... strength is in the is in the material it's not in adding pieces of wood and things right. to it so i didn't have to build frames and and all this because you know and, and i'm not knocking anybody because they god knows they've made a really good living for a yeah, long time and they're great and hoods. Hoods. but but i wanted to do to where I could make it how I wanted to to make it instead of just ordering a sheet and just cutting a bunch of stuff out. And like I say, I'm not knocking anybody. There's always room for improvement. Exactly. You know, in everything. Exactly. I saw I saw my place in the market, so that's where I that's where I went. Yes. And I mean these things are gonna be just they're gonna take over. I mean they <laughs> if none of you I know I have a lot of people on here that are like, what the what the hell with the plate on your head they have no clue what a pancake is somebody called it an inspector suit the other day an inspector oh, suit like on my channel they're like <laughs> yeah nice inspector suit bro I'll, yeah, I'll take a pipe liner yeah i'll take a pipe liner guys if you now granted some jobs will not let you um you have to have like a hard hat hood but if you do not have these are osha approved hoods like hell all these will say osha approved on them the only thing and i will say this i will say this because I don't want to. I don't want to hype it up too much, but I am. Carbon fiber is a conductive material. It is essentially graphite. Which, if you have a welding machine, the little brushes that ride on your armature, those are made out of graphite. Those are carbon brushes. You hear carbon. So if you hook leads to this, it's not going to shock you. The 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 uh, the wood, the balsa wood, is insulated. So, uh, but it will melt that hood it'll it'll melt the epoxy out of it so it'll just go back to fabric which is uh, pretty crazy and that i know and I, I hooked one up just just to see I, I made a little panel and just hooked leads to it you did yeah and it, and it what it does is if you've ever if you ever lit like lighted a piece of paper lit light lighted lighted litter yeah if you ever caught Something. a piece of paper on fire <laughs> and smoldered and blew it out and and watched the the uh, just to, you watch the paper just sear where mm -hmm. it just it just spreads like that that's that's essentially what happens and uh but it doesn't it doesn't mess up the the carbon it just no. melts the plastic out of it these things are they're amazing i'm on a list for another one but i'm at like the bottom of the list now i'm a little bummed about it but it's okay i'm gonna buy another one <laughs> that's good man that I love, I love here. I love here, man. But man, for any of you guys that are interested in a hood, go to Cody's uh, YouTube page, Empire South, E M P Y R E R E. You guys, South, and then just message him. He'll put you on a list. He is working like the rest of us. I mean, we got to make a living. <laughs> We're on the road. That's, it. That's part of it. Yeah. Uh, where are you from, Cody? Louisiana. I live in North Louisiana, yep. North Louisiana. He's in Colorado right now. Yeah. So all you guys wanting to do this, you're going to have to travel a little bit. That's right. It depends on how bad you want it. All the things that, that he listed off a while ago, the welding boss of welder, he, he forgot to mention father, husband. True. Entrepreneur. It, 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 goes, it goes with everything. So... So welder, foreman, all that stuff, that's that's just welding. Like as an entrepreneur, that's I'm an accountant, I'm a logistics manager, I'm a shipping manager, a 
payroll, you know what I mean? So it's all of it. It's it's hard to you it's got, hard to juggle everything. You got to. And that, that's what I tell everybody. I was like, well they're like, why do you do that? Well, how bad do you want it? Exactly. It's not they're not nobody's gonna hand it to you. you no, gotta, you gotta go do it. So No, that's true. Very true, but you guys go check out his YouTube page because I mean what tell us about Empire South. I mean we talk about the hoods, but I mean this dude is so Everybody sees the hoods, but yeah, nobody right. sees the like Cody Grant, Empire South, the yeah. whole empire. And we were and we were actually we were actually just talking about that. I think he snuck the record button in, so he got some of that conversation. I did, but, but I, I, I'm gonna do this <laughs> right here. But um, so so I, I kind of split Empire South up into into several different things. So Empire South Industries, which is my which is my company, my business is is how it's registered. That's that's targeted towards you know bringing income. Absolutely, absolutely. If I can get home and, and make a living and, and doing what I love and building things, that'd be awesome. Oh and, yeah. And it, it's like I was telling Jacob uh, too is is you know the the YouTube channel was you know I've always I. <laughs> I, I think to myself all the time, it's like people just don't do things anymore. You know what I mean? They, they're not. That. Most people are not motivated to do anything. They just they just like they read into a get rich quick or I'm gonna drop ship this. I'm gonna get a website and then when it doesn't work out, then they give up. And and the thing is, and so the the Empire South Industries is 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 my business. It's it's targeted towards generating income. Now my YouTube channel is, in my mind, and in, in a corny little way, is to inspire people. I, I want, you know, that's why I show on my channel how to do these things is because I want you to go do it. And, and even... Let even, me tell you right <laughs> now, okay? I've watched Cody. When did you start your YouTube channel? Feb, it was, Feb, February... It was before me, but quite a bit. 2016. Yeah, so you were a whole year ahead two of me. Two years. It's actually two years, like, to the week. Yep. I think. So Cody, I actually watched Cody, and he he was talking all about welding and, and building these hoods and family and all this stuff, and I was like, man, I've got to do this. He was the one that actually, he didn't know this, because I didn't know Cody. Like, I knew him from Empire South. But I mean, it was random that you even got up here. I mean, it's I know, crazy it's, weird. It was, but anyways, he was the one that got me started on the whole YouTube deal. So when he's talking about inspiring people and getting people uh, motivated to do something, I mean, I'm that dude right here. I mean, yeah, that, that is look, part of the reason. I got man, it, it gives me chill bumps. Man. See, that, you. it's so it's so much more rewarding than any any dollar bill or anything you know yeah it's, 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 look everybody needs money and and you know and it, and it i guess more is better but and jacob asked me all the time he goes he goes man you got you got all these hoods sitting well what i tell him i told i told you i, I told you that time i was like it's it's not about the money and he's like oh come on now now nah, and and my youtube channel is is really not about the money it's really not and and that's to me, that's that's more rewarding hearing that somebody that I've inspired somebody to do something that you just true because I don't think I would have it wouldn't have crossed my mind to do something like that. It's awesome. But, and, and two, it gives me an outlet where I can go and just make stuff, and, vent, and do your thing. And that's and that's what I was telling him a while ago too. Is is my little girl? She asks me all the time because all she knows for me to do is work. I since since I've had daughters, I haven't had time to go hunting or. Just do Bummer, stuff dude, that I, I love know. to do. It's it's bad. I mean, you have to work and you have to provide for that family, you know. And and she asked me all the time, if you could do anything for fun, what would you do? I'd probably go like build a car, or just create something. I love to build and do things. So so my YouTube channel. So that was that was that's what that's what the YouTube. That's the difference in the and that's what Empire South is. Empire South Industries is my company, and that's that's targeted towards generating income, but. But my YouTube channel is is a uh, is definitely to inspire. But I definitely think the YouTube channel right now it's I mean you got so many ideas. Oh. I mean, yeah, I mean it's like 
it opens my yeah. mind up. Every I like having Cody over because like it's like okay, what can I do myself to like? I gotta keep up with this dude somehow. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I mean, the things that go through his mind is just it is awesome. It's everything from physics to airplanes to motors to sewing leather. But I just my it's it's like that all day. Man, I tell you, but. <laughs> If you guys are interested in these, which if you've never wore a pancake or if you are currently wearing these pancakes, not slamming on nobody's pancake, but you will literally, it'll be life changing. <laughs> it will be. I mean, it has been for me. I, I, I went around because we got four welders on our facility right now. And I said, here, and I handed them both of these. And I said, now here, and I took my lenses out and I handed them the lenses and the hood. <laughs> and the lenses are almost as heavy as the hood. Just coming from somebody who does it all the time, I know, you know what I mean, I kind of I kind of have the insight on what what people, works, what a welder would, would want in a hood. I know what I would want in a hood. Well, so, yeah, I mean, so that's you got the first prototype. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to, I tried to, uh, to pay attention to every detail, the the weight, the fitment, the coverage, the flexibility, the you know everything. So, so what's the what's the what's the goal with with what you're doing with Empire Stack? Just all kinds of stuff, man. I I, I actually want to build I want to build airplanes. Really, be honest. That's See, what, this is what I'm saying, you guys. <laughs> like this, like unless you get to sit down and talk to him. Most people see the welding end of it, and that's all they see. Where if you sit down and talk to him, I mean, we're talking airplanes, we're talking generators, we're talking, I mean, yeah. carbon fiber trailers. I want, you know, what I really want to, I want to build a car and come up here and do drag week. There's a drag week from up there? scratch. Yes. Where? Rocky Mountain Race Week. Where's that? It goes. It starts. I think. And, and if any of y'all are motorheads, then help us out. But I believe it begins in Nebraska, and then it comes west so it's seven days and five race days we both figured what was it what do we what do we give ourselves five years to what till i get to fly around in one of his planes oh yeah 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 five years and i'm gonna okay. buy me one of his planes some cool shots we'll just we'll just fly tandem we'll fly tandem but yeah. all right everybody thanks for watching Go like all his stuff. Oh, you got a Facebook page too, huh? Yeah, so I got I've got a friends page, I've got a like page, uh of course Instagram. Oh yeah, the old Insty. I try I tried the Twitter thing, but I'm I hate Twitter. I don't I don't think I'm snobby enough for sure Twitter. I hate is Twitter. That, the that, thing I don't like about Twitter is nobody nobody tweets back. I'm not nah. that cool. Yeah, we're not, we're not. We're just like did you hear his accent? Nah. In his wow. text, even. Yeah. Like, it's that bad. You can tell, y'all. Yeah. Stuff like that. Man, like, whoa, hang on, delete. Yeah, enough said. I get that. Yeah. <laughs> I tried the Snapchat thing, too, but I don't... Oh. Uh, that, that got... That it's got an, out of hand. Yeah. So, I, don't, I don't dig the Snapchat school. deal, either. I don't dig that at all, but... <laughs> anyway, you guys, everybody, be blessed. Like, subscribe, comment on both pages. And stay tuned with what he's got, because I mean he's rebuilding machines, he's building hoods, he's. If I if I get a chance to do it, yeah. If he gets a chance to I'm, do it, I'm always building or doing something. Working, got to work and feed the family too. So. I don't want to be the boss. Everybody be blessed. We'll talk to you later. See ya. <laughs>